What's good, YouTube? Doing this video right here to let y'all know a couple things I came to find out. Maybe some tips. I'm not a barber, just a garage barber. I'm going to school, hopefully to get my license and become a barber. I'm gonna show y'all around first. So I got my tools right here. Got the wall detailers. T outliner. Another T outliner. I use this one on kids. I use this one on kids or people that have sensitive necks. Got the awesome fast feed. This is my first pair of Andes Masters. This has been through some hands right here. I sold it to one of my homeboys when I first kind of gave up cutting hair. Then he sold it to his brother, and they kind of messed it up. Wouldn't turn on, wouldn't cut, and took this all apart. And as you can see, it's running smooth again. Got it fixed up, and I can't get rid of that no more. Keeping that right there. Got the wall seniors. Five star shave right here. Love these right here. You have to have these. And then this little box is just back up basically. I got these little cheap trimmers just in case anything happens to mines. I could just put a blade on these and they're ready to go. These right here. These are another set of Andes Masters, but these are limited edition or special edition. Really, it's the same thing as those. All it changes is the cover. That's all it is. People tell you these cut better or whatever or the levers. But nah, they both cut the same, really. They both do the same thing. All it is another way of Andes making more money off people. They put another cover on it, say special edition, and people go crazy over it, honestly. And they give you a little bag for $30 more. Got those because... I didn't have these back yet so I went ahead and got these and then after I had these for like a month I found out that my brother-in-law was selling these because he couldn't fix them so I bought those from him back and then put these away so I put these away and I'll use them when those masters give out got backup blades Got my dirty blades in here. Got a nose trimmer. Just in case somebody wants a nose hair trim, really. Got towels on deck. Card readers. If you out there cutting hair in your garage, I'm getting tired of people coming up to me telling me they, they ain't got cash. They got to run to the bank. So I got two of these. One for the road and one for here and you know if you ain't got cash you you always got card so start swiping but be nice about it you know got water got sea breeze more water talk excuse me Clipper side, Pantene hairspray, a little bit of hairspray right here if I need to go on the go. Gel, gel, more gel, hand sanitizer. Gotta have this, really. You gotta keep stay clean, stay sanitized. I got Elegance gel right here. I put this if I'm doing a design. This is easy for me to put on the design instead of doing this and put it on my hand and going over the design. I just feel like it's easier for me. And plus, if I got to go on the go, I don't want to take this big bottle. I'll take this right here. This right here, oh my goodness. You got to get this. This smells so good after you finish a customer's haircut. It's like a cologne, really. It smells so good. I've had 10 out of 10 customers tell me that they love this. They just, it just smells incredible. Let's see what else is back here. Got a little aftershave balm. Sea Breeze, 
I got clipper oil, put it in here. I got baby powder, Lupiderm. I got a regular paintbrush to dust out the chair or if I'm trying to get hair off of something. I never use that on a customer. I use this on customers and I use this on customers. This is brush right here, strictly for when the customer's getting up off the chair and they got hair on their back. I use this brush, take the hair off their back, never on their head. I use this brush right here before haircuts. When they come in here, you brush their hair. If they got already short hair, you brush their hair. I use this brush right here during the haircut or this one during the haircut. And people tell you don't, you know, don't use brushes, don't use this, don't use that, use combs. Use whatever you're comfortable with. Just make sure you stay clean and sanitized. Like I just use this and I got to clean this again. And that's what I'm in the middle of doing right now, cleaning the station right now. But just stay clean, really. It's not about don't use this, don't use that. Just just stay clean because customers will appreciate that. Got two different blade sets. Got a little brush for my clippers. Keep them clean. More blades up here. Two pair of shears. I got these shears right here for eyebrows. Or if I need to get one little hair that's stubborn, I get them done. I got these osters right here for uh, trimming down the hair. Got the Anders magnetic guards. And as you see up here, I only have three guards. The zero, the one, and the two. Because that's all I really need. Other than that, you might as well use uh, shears. Then you got your wall guards. And I got these pre... Man, I'm telling you. Tired of these little clippers coming off. I mean, these little guards coming off the clipper. Get these premium from wall. They're like three bucks a piece. Because them little green ones and the gray ones, they keep coming off, man. You need to invest in these right here. They're worth it. Well worth the money. And if you want to get them, you got to call Wall Customer Service. They got them. Got strips. Kobe. Kobe shirt right there. This right here is my travel case. Got that at Harbor Freight for 30 bucks. It's empty right now because, like I said, I'm cleaning up right now. And I always keep stuff in here brushes, combs, picks, clipper oil, guards, ready to go because you always have that one customer that can't make it to you, but he needs a, cut, a cut. You want to come to them, keep them happy. And I got never, never mix your electricals with water. I had one of my friends that started cutting hair. Put his Andes Masters, his T-Outliners, and then over here, he put all his water, he put his uh, alcohol, and forgot all about it when he got done cutting hair, and left them open. And the water and alcohol just messed up all his clippers. Yeah, that's not good. Always, I, I say always keep them separated. That's why I got a bag right here. I keep all my chemicals in this bag right here. Hairspray, water, alcohol, anything liquid, anything chemical, I keep in a separate bag. The clip, this oil, I just keep it in here because I know this ain't going nowhere really. Got a trash can to keep all the trash in. And this drawer right here, I got more guards. These guards I rarely, rarely use. Got the Speedo guards. Just in case anything happened to these guards right here, I got backup. Rarely use these either. But it's always good to have backups. And I got the three and the four guard. Got this station from a barber shop down the street that was closing, and they were actually uh, really close to me, so they sold me this station right here for seventy-five dollars with the mirror, and everything. So I had to get that because it's, it's literally brand new. Nobody cut hair on this station. Nobody. It was just sitting there collecting dust, and like I kind of damaged it a little bit putting these hooks in, but well worth it because I was keeping my clippers in here, and the cord was always messing up. Like it, it, it would be a set of sideways. It's weird, it's complicated to explain. But when I was cutting hair, like let me see this also fast feed. As you can see, look at the cord. But if you hang them upside down like this, it doesn't keep as much stress as what is here because there's a further uh, drop. Got a blow dryer, got a radio, <clears throat> my barber side jar. Keep my combs in there, keep them clean, keep them sanitized. Got some pair of gloves. If I'm doing some deep cleaning, 
And I usually have gloves to cut hair, but right now I'm out. I gotta go get some tomorrow. Um, see what else. I bought this little compressor at Home Depot for 50 bucks, but it was on sale because it was the display model, so they gave it to me for 30. And honestly, man, you should invest in something like that just in case you're in a rush or you're doing a deep clean. You gotta clean your clippers every week man almost literally every day clean your clippers every day but you got to do a deep clean at least once a week if you're cutting hair uh every day or a high velocity do a deep clean that means take them all apart clean the inside take the blades apart just clean everything and that compressor will definitely help you do that keep your broom dustpan got a mirror i had this light with an led bulb before i got that light Put that light up myself and uh i did a plug in instead of a hard wire easier for me and uh that light is like maybe 30 bucks at home depot well worth the money got a lint roller just in case i got hair all over me i gotta go somewhere got lollipops for the kids this is a unanimous drawer really got this just in case i need it my uh, tools these right here that's all i need to take my clippers apart that right there you can find this at Harbor Freight for like three bucks. All that can take apart all my clippers, put them back together, no problem. Get that at uh, Harbor Freight, three bucks. Got a light, because sometimes when you go to a customer's house, their lighting isn't the best, so you need an extra light. Got extra hooks. Uh, I use this all right here to take apart my Andes to make them a skeleton. And as you can see, in my room i have carpet so what i did was i went to home depot and i got this floor that was on sale and they sell them panels as you can see they're panels and i used that gorilla glue in that drawer to glue them together and make a little floor and all my hair drops in here and you know it rarely gets on the carpet rarely but when it does i still clean it make it a deep clean you know I got this this is my first barber chair i had this barber chair for almost three years yeah y'all can clown me all y'all want because it's broken and whatnot but this right here is my baby i got this for 20 bucks works perfectly fine pumps up it does everything i need nobody complains about it so keeping that for a while until until i get my own shop this right here this right here is a spec sheet e-replacement parts this is what i'm telling y'all tips on sometimes I got friends that call me and tell me, man, I lost my part to this or I need parts to this and they can't find them anywhere. You can go to e-replacement parts and see, as you can see, the Andes Masters, you can get parts for all of this right here on this website. And they give you a spec sheet too. They give you a breakdown and they give you numbers to tell you what you need. So, you know, you need the motor or whatever. You can get everything, especially the main part that people lose are the blade. I mean, the screws that hold the blade together. These screws right here, everybody loses them, man. And you can't find them anywhere. Not Home Depot, not Lowe's. The best way to get them is you call Andis. You call Andis Direct. That's the number. And you let them know you need screws. And they always, 10 out of 10, send them out for free the first time. Um, But yeah, what I started doing was I'm going to start ordering a few of these things right here. Because I have a, f a few barbers that are actually family friends that nobody in town keeps parts for them and his masters or any any clipper at all. Not Sally's, not nobody. They got to order it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to order the main parts that go missing or break and keep them in stock and, you know, sell them to them or whatnot. We'll figure that out. But uh, but yeah, as you can see, you can get everything. This is everything that and his masters needs. Everything. You can get it from there. Another thing is, if y'all got a local Sally's, this right here, William Sport Barber Supply Bowman. Y'all need to get this magazine. Call them up. There's a, what's the number? There's a number. It's free. They send you a catalog for free. Sally's price matches to this. You can get all the latest stuff, everything you need. Go to Sally's. They price match. And if you don't want to go to Sally's, you can order straight from the catalog. They sell to regular people just like me and you you don't have to be a barber you don't have to have your license to get it uh they carry the double magnets because sally doesn't carry them at a great price they carry clippers blades 
they carry parts. Uh, I won't order parts from them because, as you can see, uh, it's pretty expensive. Uh, I'd rather go through them right here. Let's see. Let's compare. Uh, this right here is that blade pad. It's uh, 513 uh, through this company. It's 450 if you order it through Andis. And these people are selling it at 395 Actually, uh, yeah. There you go. See, that's why I have both books. I can order that from them. Way cheaper than both of them. So uh, that's a good good catch right there. I'm glad I looked. Um, they sell clippers, guards. They don't sell the wall heroes on here, man. That's the only thing that bums me out. But yeah, get this catalog right here. Definitely worth it. And... Uh, you can definitely uh, price match with Sally's. But yeah, this is my little station right here. I uh, started cutting hair when I was a very young kid, maybe like 11 or 12 in the bathroom, cutting up my friends for free. I had a Walmart clipper and no trimmer. <laughs> so, uh, and I've come a long way, definitely. This is a big investment, love doing this. Uh, can't tell you how much I love this honestly and if you're out there and you just started cutting hair and you're just now getting into it man don't stress because you're going to have haters you're going to have people that tell you man you can't cut or I cut better or you might as well give up don't give up man because when I first started people were dogging me out telling me you need to give up you know hell this and this and that don't do it now I got people coming to me every day wanting a haircut you know it's and then I have a long way to go this isn't the end, you know, it's just the beginning. So, like I said, you know, keep going, keep pushing. Do your research. Definitely do your research. Every day I'm on YouTube or on Google or at a barbershop. There's a barbershop here in town I go to on Saturdays and I hang out with them and, you know, I just watch them and I clean the floor. Uh, I help them as much as I could and they help me. They, they show me how to do uh, shear work. Or they show me how to take apart of Anders and put it back together. Um, they show me everything, really. And I'm thankful for that. Um, but, yeah, if you have any questions, ask me. Because, man, I've done research on a lot of things. I don't know everything, but a lot of stuff I do know. So, if you have any questions, let me know. And another thing I'm going to let y'all know. People keep telling y'all, or y'all see on YouTube, zero gapping the Anders. Everybody tells you, man, you're going to zero gap everything. They don't come zero gap for a reason. I mean, it's okay if you do it, but you know, why bother? You don't, to get quality haircuts, you don't need to zero gap it. So that little bit makes a difference. I mean, it's, it's really preference. Like I zero gap these right here, and I can only use those on certain people because if I use them on different types of skins, uh, they're gonna get um, bruised up or cut up. So I got that for uh, sensitive skin. And the detailers, I use the detailers to ball it out. So really, there's no point to zero gap in your clippers. Just leave them normal. That's why they come like that. Um, so in my opinion, I wouldn't mess with them. Like people people break the back of this uh, and this masters right here, this little piece right here. People break it off so the lever can go closer. You know, and then I did that on one of my and this masters. And I'm gonna tell y'all my experience. When I did that, as you can see, it's already close enough. Why do you want it closer? When I broke that piece off, yeah, my clipper went higher. Okay, it, I mean, it got closer. But when I was fading and a customer's skin, this was pulling their skin. And it was irritating them. So I really couldn't do nothing about it. So I regret that. So I got a new pad and started all over. I said, I'm not doing that again. Um, people might have a different uh, opinion on it. That's just my opinion. Why zero gap? They come like this for a reason. You know, don't mess with them. Just keep them like that. That's just my opinion. But like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop a comment. Um, I'm going to tell you all straight up. I'm not a barber. Um, I'm still learning. But if I can help you out in any kind of way, just drop a comment below. And I'll do my best to help you guys out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks. Have a God. I mean, God bless you. Have a great day.